A strong and resilient health system correlates with better health outcomes for women, adolescents, and children. However, to build a strong and resilient health system, managers and policymakers depend upon vital statistics of their citizens to make well-informed and timely decisions. But how can vital statistics be used to strengthen health systems and empower families to access healthcare services? The Vital Events, or VE Tracker, is a DHIS2 package designed to improve timeliness and accuracy of reliable data, allowing it to reinforce the performance of health systems with Civil Registration and Vital Statistics, or CRVS. CRVS is fundamental to health decision-making and policy development, and the tracker allows users to report core events such as birth, stillbirth, and death, triggering real-time notifications directly from the point of care. This quickly grants citizens easy access to birth and death certificates alongside national IDs, which are foundational to ensure legal identity for all. Developed in response to a need from UNICEF, Gavi, and the World Health Organization, the Vital Events Tracker leverages the widely distributed network of health workers in facilities and communities to strengthen the civil registration of births and deaths. Health workers can actively notify vital events to the civil registrars for the purpose of registration. The tracker increases the timeliness of reporting and reduces the chances for human error due to manual copying from paper forms. The notification system can be used to enroll citizens into national ID programs, and the tracker itself can also be linked with immunization programs in DHIS2. With the VE tracker, civil registrars can easily inform policymakers of the vital statistics they need to make life-saving public health decisions, as well as to update national databases and support the planning, delivery, and monitoring of a functioning health system. So, how does the Vital Event Tracker work? Well, each Vital Event goes through an enrollment process. When an event is enrolled, say a birth, the user enters stage-specific information, like the date of the event, as well as other unique identifiers and minimal health data, like birth weight. Once the data has been entered into the system, the user can instantly notify the civil registrar of the event via SMS, system notification, or data exchange, with the notification containing the relevant data, in this case, the birth information. The data can also be used for data analysis, configured with dashboards to display key indicators, and can be linked with other health packages. So, let's take a quick look at how to use the Vital Events Tracker. When you've booted up the Tracker Capture app and selected the Vital Events program, you can begin the enrollment process. You'll see that the organization unit is already selected and that the enrollment will default to today's date. Next, you need to select the type of notification. In this example, we're going to register a birth notification. We then fill in all the child's information we need, such as name, date of birth, parents' contact information, and once the data is entered, click Save and Continue. Now that all the child's information has been entered, we can then enter the basic birth detail information and undertake the notification of birth. Under Timeline Data Entry, select the plus icon and enter the information. Some simple decision support has been added to the data entry page to ensure that the information you've entered is correct, such as the gestational age and birth weight. With the child's profile and birth information now entered, select Send Notification then select Complete. The notification of the event is then automatically sent out to the relevant bodies. In this case, an SMS message has been sent out notifying responsible CRVS personnel of the birth of a baby boy. And that's it. Download the Vital Events Tracker now and help build your strong and resilient health system.